Hey guys, I am at the home of Larry Harrington. He is putting up the run to vote people uh, for the night. These are some people that are dedicated to changing the way America looks at elections, I think. And Dan, how are you doing today? Great, thank you. So it's bright and early, and you're all getting ready to take off here. Can you give me an idea, real quick, what Run to Vote is all about? Sure. Um, we're a group of four high school students and two high school teachers from Granville Central High School, North Carolina. We are traveling around the 48 states, everything except for Alaska and Hawaii this summer. And we want to try to get people to register to vote and to promise to vote in the 2008 elections so that we can hopefully help improve voter turnout. And for every person that registers to vote, we run a quarter of a mile to celebrate. Well, that's fantastic. You have a website, runtovote.com, and you're listing how many people you're actually talking to and and, uh, getting pledges from. Every day we list um, how many people register, how many people pledge, and how many miles we run. Cool. Thank you very much. Jonathan, what's your role? Well, I guess I'm the co-founder and Mm -hmm. co-leader. So how did the idea come up? Well, I uh, trying to figure out one day how to combine my love of running with my love of politics. And uh, sure enough, I kind of came up with the groundwork for this, proposed it to Diane, and she kind of suggested that we uh, you know, take students with us. Was it a hard sell, convincing students to run across the United States? Actually, not really. They're kind of, I guess, a little crazy like we are. So uh, it all worked out. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Who do I talk to first here? Okay, Itchy, how did, why, why, why are you doing it? Um, well, I'm not old enough to vote. I'm only 15. So this is kind of my way of trying to influence the election because it's going to be such a turning point for our country. When, you, when you're in the Twin Cities, I know you're going there next. If you could convince someone to give you a day trip, about uh, an hour west is the world's largest ball of twine. Nice. It is. Made by one man. Weird Al Yankovic sang a song about it. It's great. All right, thank you. What's your name? Stephanie. Stephanie, how do they talk you into it? Oh, well, I'm in cross country and track, so I like running. All right. So is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, please check out our website, www.rundevote.com, and check out how you can help. How many miles do you figure you've run so far? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. With the Run to Vote, folks, I'm James Raby at Larry Harrington's home in Moorhead on FM 105.1.